What'd you find? What is that? It's like one moose antler. What you looking at over there? What you got? You're gonna want to feel it. It's Look at she's here. buying false graph that none of us pick up to buy, but this the millennial girl here is uh, picking up a false craft piece. And I'm putting it in the hmm. Very interesting. This is a very, very sad turkey. It's a very, it's a very sad turkey. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but I, I'm not alone, because I said we. I got this girl with me, and uh, we got the other one in the back too. <laughs> She's really good at hiding. So Rachel's with us. You probably won't see much of her. She does not like to be on camera. Um, we are at Goodwill. This is actually the Goodwill that my very favorite Goodwill manager moved to. So we're going to get in here and see if she has changed the store for the good. I bet she has. So uh, without further ado, let's get shop done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, come on. Let's go. Let's go get shop. What job. she said. Let's go get shop done. It's a very annoying buzzy door. It's a very annoying buzzy door. Let's go find us a lucky cart. Lucky cart, lucky cart, which one is it? Why do you always get the ones that don't want to get unhooked? Every single time. I'm thinking that's not lucky. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's, I'm thinking it's this one. Right here. Oh boy. Oh, this is what, this is what Carrie always says. Little love bug. I see a vintage lacquered kitties. Which we're not going to buy because we're still in picky mode. Still in picky mode. Been doing pretty good. Pretty proud of myself. It definitely makes um, editing my videos go a little quicker too. Laundry room. Pushes for service. If no one answers, do it yourself. Oh, I kind of love that. Because this obviously doesn't push. Ohio Wholesale. I kind of love this. I, I think I need to hang this in my laundry room. M for mom. M for mom? Yes. I'll take it. Alright, nothing. Oh, I see a little, the little, is this the downy, the downy babies? And then somebody decoupaged them onto wood. But it's gotten all speckly over time. That's too bad. Too bad. What'd you find? What is that? It's like one moose antler. I know. I was like, is it it's, moose? it's a single moose antler. Or it could be flames. No. No? No. It's no. a moose. Just okay. Half of a moose. I wonder if the rest of the moose is here somewhere. Create things you wish existed. More hours in the day? Can we do that? Can we make more hours of the day? This is very industrial. It could be industrial too. So I'm just thinking because Noah wants to do his room very much in like all of this like wire stuff. I was looking like, could I hang that on the wall? I could I, I could hang that on the wall. I don't know why you would. Because that's what we was looking at. She wants shelves on the wall to put stuff. She's vetoing me. Okay, Noah. She's vetoing me on that. What would you have done? <gasps> Give me an S. Nobody's 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 playing along. I am gonna look at the airport. This opens. Is it a birdhouse? No, it would be I think maybe a candle holder, but it's obviously missing a lot of something. And then. And then we have a bird, a little, a little silver bird. He hangs on the wall and he's broken. All right. 
We're leaving him. I'm jumping over to the plates because the other rows are pretty busy right now. Pen, China. I just noticed the birds on those. Rachel didn't notice the birds on those. What's that say? Bite? Mine Tunisia, maybe? Interesting. Happy treasure hunting. That's what they just told us. That looks hand painted. Mazatlan, it is hand painted. It's red wear. It's pretty, but not what we're looking for. What's in there? What's, what's, what's in there? Oh, just plain old little white. Little white dishes. Norman Sailor Jerry Collins. What are those? 2011. Never mind. What you looking at over there? What you got? You're gonna want to feel it. Not necessarily. It doesn't look like something that fits in your suitcase, though. But it could fit in yours. Oh, it's very pretty. Robinson Design Group Japan. Copyright 1989. That's very pretty. Oh, it's 12.99. Red tag, no discount. And they wrote on it. Yeah, that's what they do. Kicker, kicker, kickerlin. That's really cute, the little girl looking in the. But I don't need it. I don't. Oh. Lion Country Safari. I remember going there as a kid. That one I'm going to get for 99 cents. Hmm, it's an interesting mug, Ireland. Hmm. Canada Goose travel mug. Hmm, nothing exciting in the mugs today. Cute owls. But they're nothing that we have to have. You need a shoe cup? I do not need a shoe cup. Even though it's Oktoberfest. What's what's Ben Shot? Solid copper lead free bullet? Oh, I don't know. That one's a mystery to me. Are you telling me we can't find that in San Diego? Not this, not this exact thing. It's Look at, she's here. buying false graph that none of us pick up to buy, but this, the millennial girl here is uh, picking up a false graph piece. And I'm putting it in the cart. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, I think I have some of these. This one has its label, it just says Home Essentials, so not super high-end. Oh, nothing grabbing me in the glasses. This is a very, very sad turkey. It's a very, it's a very sad turkey. He's exactly, he's missing his head. She wants me to put all of this breakable stuff in my carry-on bag. Hmm. I found a big chicken. That is a, actually it's kind of a cool chicken. He looks a little bit like a Temptations chicken, but I don't think he is. I think he's a hobby piece. I think I was called. Yep, I think he was painted by somebody in 1999. He was nicely done. He's a nice chicken, but a little more than I want to be worrying about shipping right now. Wow, that's um, some bright beaded purse thing going on there. I wonder if somebody 
makes that or yeah it looks like it was like manufactured and not like a homemade piece it's kind of wild kind of wild this is a pretty it's an andrea by sedek jardin blue jardin jardin how do you say that These are temptations in the blue old world pattern. On another day, I probably would have picked these up. Oh wait, did she not take, oh, I think we put this back because it was $12.99. Yeah, that's why, $12.99, that's why we put that back. All right, let's keep going. Cooking stuff, lots of cooking stuff. Poultry roasting set. Is this for watermelon? Is this a watermelon slicer? Or a pie slicer? Probably pie, huh? You can tell I don't cook. Dispenser. Okay. Hmm. I know that's a good brand, but I don't know anything about their little plastic wear cups like that. Race cars. Cute. What are these? Hatchimals. Disney action, anything that doesn't belong in the plastics. I don't see anything today. Let's see what we got. There's a lot of stuff over here, but this looks like it would have had a lid. Would it? I don't know. It's a hobby piece made in 1974 by Carol. It wouldn't necessarily have had a lid. It's kind of a cute little strawberry piece and it doesn't have a price but I think I'm going to get it and see how much we can get that for oh I had high hopes on that one because look it's it's got the shape it's got the weight but it does not have the birthmark darn it we're getting closer every time one of these days we're actually gonna find one I'm referring to a glassy baby Oh, this cute little, oh, it's a candle. Darn it, if that wasn't a candle, I probably would have picked that up. No candles, though. Let's see. A little garden snail. Very well worn. Put you back there. Hmm. This is probably like a Teleflora. Yeah, F FTD. Same difference, same difference. This is a nice matte finish. Looks like it could have some age on it. It's got a very McCoy kind of feel to it. That's just a glaze chip. So the, when I say glaze chip, it just means that the glaze, the color part, has kind of chipped off, but the chip doesn't go down into the piece itself. So it's a little more forgivable than a chip that's going to ruin the integrity of the piece. You know what? I I really like the color of this. Uh, it is half price. I do believe blue is half price, which would make it $2.50. And I am going to grab that. And I see this orange one. This is obviously a hobby piece. Another way you can tell the hobby pieces are really heavy. Like they're just really heavy, <laughs> usually. Not always, but usually. This is kind of what we call like a trophy vase. It's cased. It's a cheaper, it's a cheaper piece of glass. Nothing too exciting there. What are these little marble? Oh, they're very lightweight. So they're not actually marble and they're not solid. I'm not even sure what their purpose is. Those are 
cute little measuring spoons. Hmm. Oh, let's see. I think this is a princess house piece. I think it does these doves. Well, there's a moose. Kind of a cute moose, but he's not very high-end or anything, so we're going to leave him. We're staying in picky mode. What makes you? Clay art. I wish that had the other one that went with it. It's a it's a shaker with a computer with mice on it. I was hoping that would have something kind of embedded inside, but it does not. It's like somebody was peeling tags. Gosh, look at it. Like they just leave the evidence all over the place. They peeled a women's, let's see, they took the red tag off because they didn't want to pay the red tag price and then they get it up there and they ask for a price and then they don't know that it was red tag up at the register and so they get it they get it cheaper and they get away with it one day my prince will come and i'll be out shopping <laughs> that's zelda wisdom um these actually can do pretty good this one's 5.99 it's pretty chipped if it wasn't chipped i might pick it up because i also have a friend who loves bulldogs but no can do with a chip. And that's an elephant with a boo-boo. All right, let's keep it going. I almost went around the corner and then I spotted a Smoky Bear building blocks. Smoky Bear building blocks. It's like little, little Lego. But how old are you, Smoky Bear Building Blocks? Looking for a date somewhere on this. That's probably not all there. So we'll leave it. Okay, let's see what we got over here. That's an, I think it's a pipe holder, right? That's an interesting one, if it is. I don't know what that is. But it's cute. Anything in here? A little wood heart. Vatican Homes wooden bowl. It was $9.99 somewhere. Now it's only $3.99. I just really like the look of that. $3.99. Not bad. I'm guessing this would sell for 12 to 15. Now, even though its original price was $9.99, we don't know how long ago that was. I don't see a date anywhere on there. Um, but on the resale market, it's really all about supply and demand and emotional appeal. I'm pretty sure that's a 12 to $15 piece. Uh, so at $4, I can triple my money. So I'm gonna put that one in the cart. Oh my gosh, these little Christmas booties are ever so cute, but they're ever so cheap. They just look good from a distance. Oh, Rachel's here and passed up on the horses. What? They're not very good. They're definitely not briars. We can leave them. All right, nothing else here. Oh, what are you? A little Christmas. Oh, it's made to look old, but it is not old. I mean, it might be vintage, but it's not like you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Like there's an old version of that that's not battery operated. He is a Willits horse. He came off of his pole somewhere. I see the poo on the shelf over here. And uh, the poo is uh, missing something. And he's got Eeyore right next to him. Oh, that's like a watercolors Eeyore from Disney Parks, $5.99. A little more than I'd like to pay, but I'm pretty sure Eeyore is at least a $15 mug. And he's in really good shape, so I will pick him up. Let's see what else we got over here. Those are cute Christmassy cups. I think these are more candle holders than cups, but they're not any brand or anything, so 
We'll leave those. And that is going to do it for the Christmas area. I think that would have had a lid on it. Let's see if I can catch up with the girls and see what they're doing. Let's kind of look through their crafty stuff and the mishy mash, as I like to call it. Hmm. I remember when my kids were all about the sidewalk chalk. I mean, our dog, we had a St. Bernard and the dog came in the house pink <laughs> because of all the pink chalk being used. Bathroom stuff. Hmm. Nothing exciting on the shelves over here. Now, is that really old or is it just made to look old? Lux by Mr. Bubble. I mean, she sure does look... No, it's got a barcode, so it's just a, just made to look retro. Uh-oh, there's more things appearing in the cart. More things appearing in the cart. Rachel got some black fleece fabric, and she's going to make uh, Zena, who was our Rottweiler. I don't know how she's going to do that, but she says she's going to do it. Look at all this money I just found on the shelf. Rachel, do you need some money? That's a lot of money. I need real money. You need real money? <laughs> I, I do not need chains. I do not need chains for my tires. We don't get much snow in Vegas. No, not much at all. But I might, I might need this hummingbird. Would that be for a tablet? A little mini tablet? Yeah, like a book reader. Yeah. Like a, a nook? Is it a nook? Or a oh. Nook? Oberi, o Oberon design. That's too bad. I mean, I wish there was like a better purpose for it because it's really nice and it's high quality, but we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Oh, did you find a gimbal? The adjustable book holder. I wonder how heavy of a book. I don't know. It doesn't look very big. Popular. Adjust. No, it pulls It pulls open and adjusts. Oh, I found the perfect yeah. thing for yeah. Ozzy. My little book reader. Ozzy needs a hamster wheel. Why would you put our chihuahua in a hamster wheel? That's not nice. <laughs> he needs exercise. Not like that. <laughs> Does Dozer need a kitty toy? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, what did you find? Puppies. You found puppies. Upside down puppies. It's got puppies all over it. Puppies. What do we got? We've got the uh, Ducks Dynasty uh, Chia Uncle Sai. Anybody still watch that show? Is that show still even on? I don't know what they're getting into over here. What are you getting into over here? Oh, what is it? A D and D starter set. Oh, not there. What's in there? What's in that box? That could be interesting. Let's see. Wait, what does it say right here? Pink poppy. Over here. Oh, is it some kind of? Oh, it looks like it might be cute. Let's see. Let's see. I've got extra hands, so, you know, let's take advantage here and look in the boxes. And it's... Oh, they're really cute. They are really cute. They are actually really cute, and they're brand spanking new. They were $6.99, I think. You know what? $6.99. I'm going to pick those up. Are they lights? I do not know. Oh, I made it go. <laughs> Somehow, I don't even know how I made that one go. Is that one? Oh, you know what it is? It, it found, it found like some metal on this. Look at, <gasps> it's finding a charge somehow through the shelf. Okay, that's just wackadoodle. That's the only one. That's the only one that I'm 
able to make go. Okay, all right, enough of that. That is a cute little case, but it's got, you have one like it? it's got some damage. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of damage. I have something similar, yes. Mine's not quite the same colors. And then we have a bunch of vacuum cleaners that are not being tested this time. Yay! It's under there. What's that pillow? What's that pillow? There are three things that remain. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Oh, I like that. I like that pillow a lot for $1.99. It's clean. It's nice. I think that's where there was a tag that somebody cut off right there. I think I will pick that up. All right, here's all the rest of the pillows. Ooh, look at the bl fuzzy blue pillows. I kind of like those. It's not bougie blue, but it kind of matches those new sheets that your sister just bought you. Do you like those? Yeah. Because we could throw them in the dryer, get them the all fresh. Well, that freshens it up and makes sure that they're like disinfected. The dryer disinfects them? The heat. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Heat. Yeah. Yes. Would you like those? Uh, I don't need them. You don't need them? I know you don't maybe need them, but I would get them for you. I have a pillow. All right. She says no. You're as bad as I am. How am I as bad as you are? You should have seen us at the makeup Trying store. to talk her into things? Yes. What's that? I see tassels. There's nothing exciting about that. those tassels, though. Oh, you need now you need some brown fabric? To go with your black fabric? Yeah. Well, I'm sure somewhere in here there's a piece of brown that would work. Does it have to be fleece or could it be like a oh that's attached to something. But could you you could you take it off of there and use it? How creative do you want to be? She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. All right, let's find some magical, awesome... Okay, why are there like construction cones and... I think there's firefighters. I think there's firemen in there. That's what it looks like. Inside the, uh... Ow, okay. Because they probably put it in the wrong thing. <gasps> it's kind of funny. Do I see Big Bird? Oh, he's a Coles Cares Big Bird. Oh. Who else can we find up here? Oh, he's the bunny from uh, Secret Life of Pets, right? Oh, is this a deer? I think I have to get I have to get this guy. I don't know how much he is, but he can't be much. Okay, this guy's super adorable. Unicorn and dragon. How cute is that? Who makes him? Let's see how much. He's three ninety nine, and he's oops. He's still got his little flip -a zoo He's a flip -a zoo Yeah, stick him in the cart. I might look him up, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning toward. Wait, I want to see the dragon side. I want to see the dragon side. There we go. Because I like the dragon side better. I'm just saying. Rachel just brought over these really adorable little sheep. Do they do anything? Or are they just attached? Oh, you had three. I thought they were attached together, and it was like a little triple sheep thing. All right. I'm not sure that these have enough resale value all on their own. And they're two nine. If they were 99 cents each, I'd grab them and put them all together, but it would be a $9 investment and they're probably mm, five to $8 a piece. Oh, it's Mr. Peabody. Who remembers Mr. Peabody? Walking like an Egyptian. He's fun. He came out of a baggie somewhere, I bet. I betcha. He doesn't have enough value all on his own for me. So we will leave him. Look what I found. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark. Okay, I'm gonna have to go find Rachel and ask her because I think that's a little as pet shop character, right? I don't know who the horse is. And then there's a little pony, but I think it's a newer one. And there's a strawberry shortcake looking little chicky noodle in there. And then there's a turtle. Actually, there is a turtle in there. Uh, it looks like, uh, like a My Little Pony turtle is what it looks like, but 
I need to find out about that character right there. All right, I'm a sucker. I'm getting this bag full of stuff for $3.99. And then I found this. I th So who's the character with the little chameleon? Is it Rapunzel? Tangled. 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 So this is a Disney Tangled um, theme park hat. It doesn't have a price. So hopefully, again, they give me a good price up at the register. Jordan just found this. You know who this is? This is from the Haunted Mansion. I just I wasn't filming when you said her name. Madame Yoda. But I wasn't filming when you said her name. I was late. I was. Anyway, she lights up. She is one of the, the theme park cups. And uh, she huh. is. Four, she's a cup. Yes. Four, put the water in. $4.99. We're going to get her. I'm pretty sure that Jordan just took the lid off and showed you. <laughs> We're all so observant. All right. Hey. Rachel, do you know what that is? Phone. That's a phone. Uh -huh. Can you believe we used to use those? Yeah. <laughs> oh, anything in the lamps? Cute little, like a little boudoir lamp. I don't need. I don't. I don't need the little generic doggy. Generic doggy. He's a little generic doggy. All right, nothing here. Rachel is usually really good at spotting good art. So I'm going to let her eyes kind of go to town in here and see if there's anything. I see something really cool. Okay, this, obviously this is like copied from something, but this has always been such a really, really popular print, this never give up, and it refers to the frog holding on to the bird's throat so he can't get swallowed. Too bad the quality is not better on that because that's a it's a pretty pretty fun item. Let's see if there's any other. No, I don't just not even in the mood to dig that hard. I see a little 3D something down here. Again, you can just kind of look and see quality is just it's very coarse it's not very good it almost looks chipped you know even though it's behind glass but it's just made that poorly so we'll leave that this is kind of a cool piece here i'm looking for a oh i do see a signature oh gee i can't make that out jan janero janeno generis Something like that. Now, why this has me intrigued is the fact that somebody had this professionally framed. Uh, it's it's really a nice looking piece of art. It's double, actually it's triple matted in this really expensive frame, I'm sure. And if I could show you back here, see it says the customer when they had the professional framing done. Now it is $25, so I have to decide, is that worth it for me to get? It's not something I really want to ship, um, but I, I mean, obviously I would if it was like a hundreds of dollars piece, but I don't know that right off hand. So then I have to decide, will my local market work for selling this? I think it might. It's a pretty cool piece. So I think I'm gonna pick it up. Also, the fact that Rachel was really drawn to that piece has me leaning towards it. Oh my goodness, what's going on with this little little farmhouse here? Goodness, needs a little, little worse for wear. Really nice desert scene. That's also a signed print. Larry Pfeiffert. Larry Pfeiffer. I like this. You should get it. But it's got those. And we I don't, don't care. We don't like that. We're dealing with those right now. <gasps> it's got a tortoise. Look though. at how much stuff is it. Oh. We're getting it. We're, Rachel says we're getting this. Look, Look how at, many birds it's got. There is so much detail in this. Look at all the lizards. <gasps> Everywhere you look, like there's more and more there's and more. There's a little fox hiding in there. Detail. I saw the fox. Oh my god. You're right. Rachel, this is this is pretty outstanding. We should get it and we should put it in our house. This would room. actually really, really work in our house. We should put it in our With our room. whole south. We should put it in your room. You have a horse theme in your room. 
And you only with the briars. How much is it? See, this one's also 25, but we do get a little bit of discount. We do get that 20% off. All right, all right. Well, you gotta you gotta wrangle it into the cart. What'd you find? It's cool. It's um, it's like a needle point, but it's like with really thick, like yarn. It almost looks like a afghan that they. Yeah, exactly. Cows. Oh, I do see cows. That's cute. That's not it's not my style, but I can see the appeal. You definitely see it. What is this? Ward. See, I don't know player names. 86. Pittsburgh Steelers. How much are you? $6.99 red tag. I don't know. Should I take a chance on the uh, on the Pittsburgh Steelers purse? I do want to do an, another whatnot purse sale. Ah, you know what? If I do it, I'll just start at 7 bucks and see if anybody wants it. Oh, anything in the regular purses jumping at me. Maybe this little, like a macrame beaded looking number here. It's got little wood handles. It's cute. <laughs> my hands aren't working. <laughs> I felt that slipping right out of my hand. Good thing it was just a purse. What I'm trying to see is, it, is it handmade or is it made by somebody? There's a little pocket inside. Oh no, it's made by somebody. It says it's linen. Made in Philippines. Made in the Philippines. It's really cute. I think I'll grab that for my whatnot purse sale too. This is interesting with a little bamboo handle. It's pretty torn up right there though. So that one's a no-go. All right, never mind. Guess I really need to find like another Fendi or a nice coat. Actually, I have a coach. I have a really nice coach. Carrie brought me a coach to sell in the next purse whatnot sale. So no brand. All right, let's sit in the purses. made me buy art. What? Okay, maybe not they. <laughs> she. She made me buy art. I did not make you buy both of them. We don't make you buy anything. You don't need our help for that. You, you influenced me no. to buy art. You could have said no. I could have said no. But I didn't say no because those are both really cool pieces. And the one apparently is going to be living in our bedroom. Because Rachel and I, we share a bedroom, but ultimately not. We're going to be splitting the room. But if you've watched my, my house tour, you'll see it's kind of a, 
kind of a wacky little situation that we're working on. We're working on it. It's been a few other things to do first. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go get a bite to eat. And then we are taking Rachel to horseback riding. And uh, I think we're gonna hang out and watch Rachel do horseback riding. After food. Maybe I'll hang out and watch, I don't know. I should probably stay home and edit video. We'll see. We'll see how much I get done before horseback riding. All right, I'm gonna go get them some food and uh, we are going to head and ride some horsies and uh, I'll, uh, yeah, be in San Diego on the next video. You see, pretty sure. Yeah, that's how it's gonna work. All right, everyone, with that, you go be profitable and McDonald's is fun. What do you mean? I'm we can't, comforting. We can't leave till it gets done. <laughs> Make it fun. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.